I'd like to offer a heartfelt thanks to the sponsors, the donors, and the government partners whose generous support helped make all of this possible. Key supporters include our premier partner, TELUS. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> our premier supporters, Telefilm Canada and Creative BC. Yes. As well as government support from the City of Vancouver, the BC government, and the federal government through Heritage Canada. I'd also, thank you, yep. I'd also like to offer a special thank you for, to all of you who donated to our first ever matching campaign supported by the Lochmaddy Foundation. The energy and hours it takes to orchestrate an event of this size in scope is enormous. Planning for this event continues year round and it culminates in the festival uh, when over 150 staff and a thousand volunteers come together to make movie magic happen. They have worked tirelessly over the past two weeks and there are a few long days left ahead. I, along with the board of directors, am extremely grateful for their efforts and thank them for their dedication. Join me in a round of applause for the staff and the volunteers. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our executive director, the woman that leads this wonderful team and the one who ensures that all of the pieces fit together in place so that we can enjoy the excitement of this festival. Please welcome Jacqueline Dupuy. Well, I really wondered how we were gonna get so many people in here tonight, I love it to the rafters, literally. I can see you at the rafters up there. Amazing. Thank you so much, Dave. Um, at the opening gala, I had the pleasure of being the ambassador of thank yous and gratitude. Can you imagine? It was the best job ever. Um, but tonight, I think it's only fitting that I be the ambassador of celebration. Uh, tonight, we have so much to celebrate, and you saw a lot of it just up there on the screen uh, before we started. And I just as I was watching it, thought, how did all that happen in 16 days? Oh, yeah, that's why I'm so tired. Anyway, it really was, as Dave said, a spectacular uh, 16 days. We have so much to celebrate. And I think to start off tonight's celebration, I'd really like to celebrate all of you because it is because of you that we're all here tonight. And so please, let's just start off with a big round of applause for all of you. You might be celebrating that you sponsored, donated, or supported VIF, that you saw maybe 40 films, and that's your personal best record. Uh, that you came to VIF for the first time to see a movie or something else. Maybe that you made a movie. Are there any filmmakers in the house? A couple. Congratulations. Congratulate yourself if you volunteered your precious time to make this festival possible, or if you were a family member who has patiently awaited the return of your loved one from Festival Island. They're coming back. They're coming back. And, uh, well, just congratulate yourself if you managed to find a shower. Oh, wait a second, that, that, was, that was me. I, I did. I did. Um, and in case you missed it, just let me tell you a little bit about what happened over the last 16 days. A lot went down, as you know. We showed uh, over 321 films at 400 and... 68 screenings, wow. And actually we threw in a few more because we knew we weren't working hard enough and you wanted to see through more films, so we decided to, to throw some more at you. And we had, uh, on top of that, we had three gala screenings and events. We had four live music events. We launched an entire, as you saw, music and film industry conference, as well as a conference and celebration for YouTube creators and their fans. We celebrated creators through creator talks and we hosted over 400 creators in our city through all of our programming. Yeah, hell yeah. At our industry hub, we welcome sustainability experts from around the world to explore greening the film and TV industry, as well as top 
companies doing business in the digital age. We looked into the future of creating cinematic content for virtual reality and inspired emerging filmmakers at Tolly Indie Day. Oh, and I don't know if you guys heard about this, but Melanie Jolie, the Minister of Canadian Heritage, even popped by for a visit, and that was a really wonderful treat. So that's a lot to celebrate, and thank you for being there with us through all of this. Thank you. Through this, we celebrated more creators than ever before, working across all screens at all levels. Someone actually waving at me? Oh, waving us. Okay, that was fun. Um, we can say with confidence that our organization is thriving through the diversity and expansion of its programming, through the continued and growing support of our sponsors and funders, and through our audiences, familiar and new, who believe in BIF and what we bring to them, to our city, and to BC's creative industries and community. And of course, if all that wasn't enough, we planned a whole week of encore screenings of some of the festival favorites to be running at VIF's home, the Van City Theater, next week. And if you haven't been there, we are a year-round organization show films like these 365 days a year, and yes, that was a plug. So, it's been a fantastic festival, but you can imagine that this night is a little bit bittersweet for us. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we're kind of tired and eager for some rest and a sense of normalcy in our lives, once again, but we're also bummed that the festivities are going to come to an end. So I need to ask all of you a favor because I won't be able to get to everyone. If you see a weary looking person with a staff badge on, please give them a hug. If you see a volunteer, give them two hugs. And if you see me, well, maybe just tell me I smell clean. And uh, we have a few more things to celebrate tonight before we get to Wonderstruck. We have uh, a few awards to vote to some of the, the uh, amazing films at our festival. And so without um, further ado, I'd like to invite Eve Ma to present the Impact Award. Uh, this award, presented by the Lock Maddy Foundation, recognizes a cause-related film that aims to affect change. Eve. Uh, before I present the award, the jury wanted to give honorable mention to a film called Keep Talking. That was the image that was just up on the screen just now, the lovely young woman dancing. It's a charming, playful, powerful movie about the fight to keep an endangered Aboriginal language alive and the impact it has on elders, children, and communities. So the winner of the VIF Impact Award this year the jury unanimously selected Blue. <laughs> Stunning in all senses of the word, this Australian documentary exploring the crisis facing our oceans is breathtaking and heartbreaking. Blue is essential viewing, showcasing the unique adventures of a handful of eco-warriors, showing passionate, how passionate individuals can make a huge wave. This unforgettable documentary is empathetic, entertaining, and an inspiring call to action. The uh, director, Karina Holden, is home in Australia, so she did send a message for me to read to you. This is what she said. We are so humbled to have received this award from VIF and thank the audience for coming out to see the film and for their support. The message in this film is clear. We need to act now to protect our ocean. We urge you all to remember you have the power to make a difference. Your actions, both big and small, all have an impact on our planet. This award will allow us to bring the film to more people around the world. So thank you, Vancouver. We are so honored by his recognition. Thanks. So what you're gonna hear about now is the, the audience favorites of the festival. And um, I had the pleasure today of sitting with our programming team and learning about how all of our films scored, were rated, how many people voted, and we're really pleased that we can say that tens of thousands of people came out, saw the films, but voted for them. So they said this, this is the film that we think should win and why, and um, so we were just really thrilled as a team that, that, that the audience took 
took that much time to, uh, to, to make note of all of these amazing films. And so on that note, we're going to start off with the biggest prize of all, because that's how we roll here at VIF. We are thrilled to have the support of Super Channel again this year, celebrating their love of movies through the People's Choice Award. Uh, we have Kimberly Ball with us from Super Channel, our Director of Marketing and Communications, and she's going to tell us what the audience favorite was overall at the festival this year. Welcome, Kimberly. Good evening, everyone. Need my glasses here. Um, at Super Channel, we're so proud to be involved with this amazing film festival and to be the presenting partners of the Super Channel People's Choice Award, an award which was determined by you, the film lovers. At the end of each festival screening, audiences were asked to cast a ballot, rating the film they'd just seen from one to five. Over the course of the festival, more than 50,820 votes were cast and tallied by this amazing team of dedicated volunteers. 16 days and almost 500 screenings later, one film has emerged the overall winner. Deeply moving and powerfully told, this film is a testament to the Indigenous people's indomitable spirit. The winner of the 2017 Super Channel People's Choice Award is Indian Horse. Christine Habler and Trish Dolman. incredible honor an audience choice award is um, just it, it's really a big thank you to everyone involved in the film from the beginning to the end so thank you to VIF uh, thank you to Super Channel thank you to Jacqueline and Curtis for um, selecting the film we've had a wonderful uh, series of three sold out uh, incredibly emotional screenings, but mostly we need to thank the audiences for voting. Um, I have a little note from our director, Stephen Campanelli, uh, who's in Montreal right now at another festival, um, and so couldn't be here tonight. This is such a great award and honor. It means so much to us as filmmakers and makes all our hard work so much more gratifying that the audiences are really connecting to this movie. So thank you to the audiences who voted for Indian Horse and recognized what an important, necessary, and powerful story it is. This award will go a long way in reaching so many more people. Thank you. From our entire team of producers, and Steve, our writer, Dennis Finn, he's here with us tonight, our cast and crew, our financiers, um, I would like, or we would like to dedicate this award to the spirit of Richard Wagamese, who wrote the novel. And it's sadly not here tonight to be here with us to accept this award. But most importantly, we would like to dedicate this award to everyone whose lives have been affected by the residential school system and by Canada's aggressive assimilation policies. This award is actually for you. And uh, we are deeply honored to have made this film. It was an incredible experience for all of us. And uh, we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts because this will go a long way in helping us share this film with Canada. Thank you. Thank 
you, Kimberly, and congratulations, Trish, Christine, and the entire Indian Horse team. Thrilled for you. I'd just like to now welcome uh, Curtis Walschuk, our Associate Director of Programming. Curtis, do you have an, a word to present tonight? Maybe? Okay. But uh, we also are very fortunate to, to partner with uh, Women in Film and Television uh, to present their Artistic Merit Award every year. And um, this year we wanted to, uh, on their behalf, extend, this is an award that's open to um, a female writer or director of a Canadian produced feature film. And they have determined that this year that they will give the award to Leah Poole, director of, worst case, We Get Married. Now that I'm standing here, I will move on to my scripted portion of the evening. Um, we uh, we also had the great fortune uh, last Saturday of recognizing the uh, the work of many of our Canadian and BC creators. Um, this also called upon the efforts, uh, much like Eve, of uh, four different juries who really gave of their time to consider the work created by our local filmmakers, by our national filmmakers, and um, and gave a give a great contemplation, great consideration. And uh, so, before we move on to a few more audience awards, we did want to recognize those films that were um, handed out. What six days ago? It seems like a lifetime ago now. And uh, we also want to acknowledge that uh, you know we can't give these awards away without the support of our partners and, and uh, sponsors and supporters. So um, these are awards that hopefully help these Canadian creators continue to create great work that we can share with you. Um, if we can see that slide, please. Kathleen Hepburn, writer and director of Never Steady, Never Still, won both the See the Sky Award and the Emerging Filmmaker Award. Best BC Film went to Luck Lucky, directed by Wayne Wapimakwa. Best BC Short Film was awarded to Rupture, directed by Yasmina Karaja. And in our Canadian categories, we are very happy to uh, award Best Canadian Film to Black Cop, directed by Corey Bowles. And if you're noticing a pattern here, it's that Kathleen Hepburn's name appears often, and uh, that may very well be the case for many years to come. Uh, Kathleen Hepburn also took home uh, the Emerging Canadian Director Award. Uh, Best Canadian Documentary, went to Charles Officer, Unarmed Verses. And in the short film categories, Shadow Nets by Philip Barker claimed Best Canadian Short Film, while Vincent Toy was named Most Promising Director of a Short Film for his work on The Crying Conch. Again, we're, uh, we're discussing or uh, talking about audience awards this year, and I was, uh, I was fortunate to moderate um, quite a number of Q&As, and you know, in those I saw, not, you know, the, there's the engagement that involves the, the casting of a ballot after a screening, but there's also the, the engagement that involves uh, an audience uh, being open and receptive to work, and uh, talking to filmmakers, discussing work amongst themselves afterwards. And I think that was one of the really beautiful things to see this festival was, uh, was people coming down to the stage after be it a short film program or a feature film to discuss how, what the work meant to them and how it spoke to them and their own experiences. Uh, if they were creators, aspiring creators themselves, discussing what might be some next steps for them. So again, um, I think for any of us that work at this festival, seeing that engagement between the audience and the filmmakers is so vital. So I thank anyone here who posed a question at a Q&A or talked to a filmmaker afterwards and gave them the encouragement that will push them on further. We had 203 feature films at our festival this year, and uh, of those ballots that were cast afterwards, 138 of them received ratings between four and five out of five. And it's, uh, it speaks to, I guess, you know, the audiences really did enjoy what they saw, engaged with it. And given that, we really uh, do want to recognize three other films at this festival that truly struck a chord with audiences. Um, with that, it is my, uh, my great pleasure to present the award for the most popular Canadian documentary. The winning film is one that reminds us that creativity can not only help us cope, but also help us heal on occasion. The winner of the most popular Canadian documentary is Shut Up and Say Something, directed by Melanie Wood. Wow. 
audiences, <laughs> love audiences. Uh, mostly, wanna, I just love it that people still leave their house and come out and see films in a theater. I think that's great. So we want to say thank you to everyone who came out and saw all the films, including ours. Uh, and who stayed for the Q&A, and uh, we really had an amazing time with our audiences. Uh, they were very engaged afterwards. Obviously, we raised a lot of things that people wanted to talk about. Um, also, I want to say uh, a very special thanks to Viv for inviting us here, and also to Knowledge Network, who has been behind us from the very beginning in getting this film made. Um, and I also want to say a special thank you to my creator partner, a creative partner on this film, and of course to everyone who helped us work on it. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, home stretch, everyone. I'd like to invite Alan Franey, our Director of International Programming. Alan is going to present the Audience Awards for International Program and introduce tonight's film. Alan. Okay, we don't have the filmmakers here for these, but uh, we have the films fresh in mind. First of all, for most popular international documentary award. This was from France, Faces, Places. So for those who don't know, this is the latest wonder from perhaps the world's greatest female director, Agnes Varda. It's a delightful tour around quintessential village France with artist photographer J.R. in tow. Then we have the most popular international feature award, which is the Polish-UK animated co-production, Loving Vincent. <laughs> For this, I'll just say it's a great story. And uh, in The Guardian today, headlined, it was headlined, 65,000 portraits of the artist, how Van Gogh's life became the world's first fully painted film. Okay, I believe you'll get a chance to see these award winners in the coming months, including this weekend, because as I think it's already been mentioned, we start VIF Repeats tomorrow, and we're showing two dozen films, including some of these award winners, uh, the celebrated films at the festival <laughs> this coming week. So again, thanks to everyone who voted. Now, after so many days of film viewing, we are, many of us, I think, wonderstruck. The, films we are, the film we are about to see is indeed the premiere of Wonderstruck, which is the latest time-traveling feature from the great Todd Haynes. So just looking back at his participation in the festival, I think it's interesting to note that in 1988 we showed his first film, Superstar, the Karen Carpenter story. In 1995 we showed Safe, and it was 15 years ago in 2002 that our closing gala was in fact Far From Heaven. Most recently Todd directed, of course, Velvet Goldmine, the television miniseries Mildred Pierce, and Carol, starring Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara. So thanks to El Amazon Studios and Elevation Pictures for allowing us to show Wonderstruck in this grand room tonight. And I'd just like to say that even beyond the volunteer staff and audience, let's thank the filmmakers for this festival. See you all later.